What did pretrial chamber 2 decide? On the 6th of July 2017, pretrial chamber 2 of the International Criminal Court, composed of judges Kuno Tarfusa presiding and Chang Ho Chong and Mark Perrin de Brichambou, who appended a partly dissenting opinion, delivered in open session its decision, finding that South Africa failed to comply with its obligations by not arresting and surrendering Omar al-Bashir to the court while he was on South African territory between 13 and 15 of June 2015. However, the chamber considered that it is not warranted to refer South Africa's non-compliance to the Assembly of States Parties or to the Security Council of the United Nations. Why is the ICC requesting the arrest of Omar al-Bashir? The situation in Darfur, Sudan, was referred to the ICC by the United Nations Security Council in its resolution 1593 of 31st of March 2005. Subsequently, the ICC prosecutor opened an investigation in June 2005. And on 4th of March 2009 and 12th of July 2010, respectively, the ICC issued two arrest warrants against Omar al-Bashir for five counts of crimes against humanity, murder, extermination, forcible transfer, torture, and rape, and two counts of war crimes, intentionally directing attacks against a civilian population as such or against individual civilian not taking part in hostilities, and pillaging, and also three counts of genocide allegedly committed against the four Masalit and Zagawa ethnic groups in Darfur, Sudan from 2003 to 2008. Why did pretrial chamber 2 consider that South Africa failed to comply with its obligations under the ICC Rome Statute? The chamber considered that for the purposes of the situation in Darfur, Sudan is an analogous situation to those of states parties to the statute as a result of the United Nations Security Council resolution under Chapter 7 of the UN Charter, which triggered the ICC jurisdiction in the situation in Darfur and imposed on Sudan the obligation to cooperate fully with the ICC. By way of consequence, and given that Article 27 of the ICC's Rome Statute is applicable to Sudan, the immunities of Omar al-Bashir as head of state under customary international law do not apply vis-à-vis -vis states parties to the ICC Rome Statute for the execution of the court's request of his arrest and surrender for the crimes that are under the jurisdiction of the court which have been allegedly committed in Darfur, Sudan. The Chamber therefore found that states parties to the ICC Rome Statute are under the duty to execute the warrants of arrest issued by the court and to implement the court's request for the arrest of Omar al-Bashir and his surrender to the court. The Chamber also added that the host agreement for the African Union summit, by its own terms, did not provide immunity to head of states attending the summit. And finally, the Chamber found that the arguments raised by South Africa in relation to the interactions with the court between 11 and 13 of June 2015 do not affect its finding that South Africa was under the duty to arrest Omar al-Bashir and surrender him to the ICC while he was on South African territory. For these reasons, the Chamber concluded that by not arresting Mr. al-Bashir while he was on his territory between 13 and 15 June 2015, South Africa failed to comply with the court's request for the arrest and surrender of Mr. al-Bashir, contrary to the provisions of the Rome Statute, thereby preventing the ICC from exercising its functions and powers under the statute in connection with the criminal proceedings instituted against Mr. al-Bashir. Why did pretrial chamber 2 abstain from referring South Africa non-compliance to the Assembly of the State Parties and or to the United Nations Security Council? The chamber, bearing in mind its discretional power, considered that a referral of South Africa's non-compliance to the Assembly of State Parties and or the United Nations Security Council was not warranted. For this finding, the Chamber considered of significance that South Africa was the first state party to seek from the court a final legal determination on the extent of its obligations to execute a request for the arrest and surrender of Mr. al-Bashir. In addition, the Chamber was not convinced 
that a referral to the Assembly of State Parties and or the Security Council would be warranted in order to achieve cooperation from South Africa. In the light of the fact that South Africa's domestic courts have already found South Africa to be in breach of its obligation under its domestic legal framework, and that any remaining issues concerning South Africa's obligation under the Rome Statute was resolved by the Chamber in this decision. Is this decision final? South Africa, as well as the ICC prosecutor, if they wish so, may file a request seeking the leave of pretrial chamber 2 to appeal the decision of 6th of July 2017.